Hello, friends, and welcome back to Everything MTG. My name is Justin. I'm Amanda. And today we're going to open a Guilds of Ravnica with 10 boosters booster bundle, age 13 and up. <laughs> um, mentally, I'm not age 13 and up, so I'm not sure this is legal. Not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I might need an adult, and that's why Amanda's here. <laughs> we're going to use some really dull scissors to open this. Why didn't you grab the good scissors? What is wrong with you? Because we don't know where they're at. Oh. You used them for something and then lost them. I didn't you lost them. So let's see what we get here. Well, first of all, you have to stand with your guild. <laughs> Anyways, you get a player's guide, which is always cool. 75 card basic land pack, spin down life counter that may or may not be said color. One premium foil version of each basic land. Of course, the box. And 10 15 card boosters. Also... Aurelia is like Bay right here. She's, she's looking pretty fine. Oh, well, then what am I, chop liver? <laughs> no, you're the wife. Yeah, Aurelia is looking Bay right here. She's looking pretty cool. So I'm the wife and she's the mistress? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, she's waifu and you're your wife. Okay, let's check this out. Here's our booklet. It has assorted things like a card list and some art backgrounds on these nerds. And a security and tab. A security tab that fell out because they don't want me stealing it. Oh, yeah. The Dungeons & Dragons crossover. Yeah, D&D crossover, story, arc, and all that. And I, then I like it because it has all the cards in the set with pictures. Yeah, it's cool. And then, of course, this folds out into a little poster that I like to put on the wall whenever I'm not being lazy, which is most of the time. So we have a bunch of them just, like, sitting around. And then they started to include this because they did, like, the little shave-off thing here so it's easy to open. And this doesn't have anything in it, but you can put dice in here or whatever. Which Not is really big enough to fit cards. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, you can't really fit cards. I mean, you can lay them down flat, but that's, you know. You want to show this questionable epic looking poster they have? Yeah, we can show that poster. Here, here you guys can see that if you're curious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how Let's see. Gonna get it. Yeah, can we get that in there? Is that Ravnica? Yeah. I didn't know Ravnica was a floating city. It's not. It's just a picture of the city in a, in the in the planeswalker symbol. Is that the Orzov Church? <laughs> oh yeah, it is in the planeswalker symbol. That's pretty neat. Well, that'd be cool to put up on the wall. Most of them are, go like landscape, not yeah. portrait. So that one's kind of unique. So, oh, here we go. This tells me how to uh, proceed with my turns. <laughs> Creatures heal. And then you pass the turn at the end of your turn. If you guys didn't read the uh, short three stories on... Oh God, what's her name? Vivian. Vivian Reed. I highly recommend you do so. I personally feel like she's the replacement for Garuk or Garrick, as you may be familiar. Um, she is awesome. Her ability with these arrows and her special bow, the arc bow, is freaking awesome. I won't spoil what the, what it does, but you guys should absolutely look it up because it's really cool. Then we got another insert that tells you, hey, here's popular forms of magic. Commander, booster draft, and standard. Ha <laughs> ha, standard. Uh, yeah, and that just tells you how to make a deck because we none of us know how to make a deck. I believe this comes out Yeah. as a removable... Um, and we got the Demir deck. Yeah, as a removable thing for your deck. I don't know if that can hold a commander deck, though. Yeah, is this... This, this is the Demir die. Yeah. yeah. Which way does it go? That way? Yeah. Cool. I'm a Demir guy, so a Demir die. <laughs> it's pretty great. Oh my God. And then these are foil lands. Uh, only five of them, the first five. The rest are. What's really the cool. point? I like. I want the ones from the guild packs that have the uh, like special symbol, oh, right? What's the point of like one foil land each? Um, seems kind of weird. They're premium foil lands. I don't. I don't know. Premium foil. We froil around here. Let's go ahead. Let's get a little deeper. <laughs> let's go deeper. One layer deeper. Oh, Passwall Adept. You guys like how I said that? <laughs> Maximize Velocity. Healer's Hawk. Wish Coin Crab. Vigor Spore Worm. Token Rat in every set. Pax Favor. Parhelion Patrol. Garrison Surgeant. Is this like a Vyashino? He looks like an alligator thing. Muse Drake. Might of the Masses. I love this card. Super cool. And that's like a really tall, big elf. 
Fly Airshire. Flight of the Equinauts. A flying ponies. And uh, Beast, Whisperer. Beast Whisperer is not a bad card at all. 2-3 for 2 and double green. Elf Druid, whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Always a welcome effect in green, especially since green likes to cast creatures. Be really spells. good in an elf deck anyway. Yep, and then of course we have our Golgari Guildgate. Uh, where would we be without... The gates. The gates. <laughs> Probably in a better spot. How else are you going to win with, uh, what's that card that if you control 10 gates, you win the game? Um, not Maze of Ith, the, yeah. the other one. Yeah. Don used to play a deck around it. Yeah, it was really weird. Wait, aren't these the exact two cards in the same order? Wait, aren't these the exact <laughs> same three cards in order? That's a new one. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Capture Sphere, Bulgari Locket. I like these lockets. I'm not sure if they would replace... Uh, like signets, but having that two card draw later in the game for a commander You're game. Shaking the table. Oh, sorry. It does seem pretty important. Necrotic wound. That could be okay. Justice, Justice strike. strike could be powerful. Good Sun card. Home Stalwart's a pretty decent card for two. <laughs> Before I let you wield one of these, let's see you dodge one. And Arc Light Phoenix. Ooh, nice. Look at that. Flying Hasting 3-2 three, for 3 and a red. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you cast 3 or more instant and sorcery spells this turn, return Arclight Phoenix from your graveyard to the battlefield. This could be good if you played it in like a Mizzix of his mm -hmm. Magnus deck where you get the experience counters and your spells cost less and less. Yeah. You can go on like a draw spree and get some really cool stuff going Here on there. Go, Whoops. Let's put that to the side. Got a little Elf Knight action. Are they still... Nope, Portal. nothing on the back there. MTG Portal. So we're looking for Bay, <laughs> aka Aurelia. Aurelia. Amanda really wants Aurelia. I want to build a deck around her. We've opened two pre release kits, an entire box. Our friend opened an entire box yeah. on channel, and we have not pulled an Aurelia yet. Yeah. It's pretty uh, pretty crazy. Ledev Guardian. Do you even Ledev, bro? <laughs> Another Golgari locket. Was the last one a Golgari? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was. Mephitic Vapors. Luminous Bonds. That's a good card. Vernati Shieldmate. Mm, meh. Night Veil Predator. Night Veil Predator is always a welcome card. Undercity Necrolisk. World Soul Colossus. And... Narc Amoeba. Narc Amoeba. Cool. Uh, a staple in the Oops All Spells deck. Yep. <laughs> and of course we got our Goblin Token with some uh, damage. apparent damage. Not like it matters. I have... Uh, way too many tokens to begin with. Even though half of them were destroyed in that basement flooding, we still have way too many tokens. <laughs> like we we have a whole BCW box like dedicated to tokens. <laughs> yeah, huh. they come in handy for our commander decks, though. Right. Beep. Yeah, when you need like four of each. Mm -hmm. Intrusive pack beast. Maximize altitude. Barging sarging. Yeah, I know. I said that. Severed Strands, Wild Ceratoc, Pitiless Gorgon. The reign of the swarm begins. Let us rise now and dress ourselves in vengeance. I don't know if that's supposed to be... Hammer Dropper. Uh, yeah. Rasky or not. Sumala Woodshaver. That, I like the elf art, usually. It's very cool. Yeah, what does that remind me of? Like, from what set? Maybe Lorwyn, I don't know. Hypothesis Sizzle. Demotion. Ooh, Invert. Invert, Invent. Glow Spore Shaman and Fireminds Research. Fireminds Research, not bad. One blue, one red for an enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a charge counter on it. You can pay one blue and one, remove two charge counters from it, and draw a card. Or you can play pay. Yeah, I know you're tapping me and like screwing me up. Or you can pay one and a red, remove five charge counters from it. It deals five damage to any target. Again, that would be a good card in a Mizzix deck. Um, or maybe like a a draw deck, you know, something centered around um, the Locust God, maybe, mm -hmm. where you, you're aiming to draw like a lot of cards to get a bunch of little dudes. You can start pumping out some damage, and it's any target, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. any target, and that can also help you draw cards additionally. Um, two counters and five counters. Five counters is an awful lot. Two counters, pretty easy to do. Wall of Mist. Always nice to see the walls. Partisan bats. Portcullis Vine. 
It was this, a sacrifice creature with Defender Gall card. Not as good as the original one where it came in and just draws yeah. you a card from, I think it was Return to Ravnica? Piston Fist Cyclops. Another Pitiless Gorgon. Got Lava Coil. It's not, not bad. The only thing that hurts it is its sorcery speed, but it does four damage, which kind of makes up for it. For two, yeah. Gird for battle. Get Gird. Thoughtbound Phantasm. This card actually isn't bad. And, ooey, Hatchery, Hatchery Spider is worth, I think, 15 cents. <laughs> Last time I looked it up, because it's... It has an interesting mechanic, but it's just really not great because well, it think, relies on the undergrowth mechanic. Honestly, I think the undergrowth mechanic is horrible. It's <laughs> it's very meh, in my opinion, yeah. yeah. Only a very particular deck is going to be able to play around that mm -hmm. mechanic. The informant's good. Rubble Belt Boar. Generous Stray. Cute. Meow. Gateway play as a deadweight. Always a good card. All things considered, his first damn patrol could have gone better. Ha ha. Probably. Undercity Uprising. League Guild Mage. Wand of Vertebrae. Made by the mad for the work of the wicked. Goblin Banneret is a decent card. Not not bad at all. And nice. Temple Garden. Temple Garden. We have like... So many I think that cards. actually makes a playset now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's actually a playset. And we have a foil, which is awesome. Child of Night. I love the new Child of Night art. So I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Yeah, I don't know why Temple Garden is just, just the popular one, but... I know it sucks because I don't play white green at all. I need the Demir I mean, one. <laughs> I do, and... And I have it in my deck. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you can only play one when yeah. we're speaking of commander. I mean, I'll take it. It's worth money. Might be able to trade fodder that for one we need. Like Aurelia? Well, I don't think it's worth Aurelia money, but maybe. Golgari Raiders. Uh, Temple Garden, I think it's like 8 bucks. Yeah. Aurelia is like 12 11 or 12 Yeah. Beam Splitter Mage. Beam Spittin'. He'd be spitting them beams. <laughs> Inescapable Blaze. There's Brawl. Our boy Brawl getting blazed up. Experiment. Experimental Frenzy. This is uh, a very interesting card. Three and a red for an enchantment. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may play the top card of your library. Not at any time. Unless it's an instant. You can't play cards from your hand. And you can pay three and a red to destroy this spell. Weird. Yeah. It's kind of like aggressive mining, yeah. you know, or like one of those chaos cards, as mm -hmm. I would call it. Like it really, or like Marilyn of the Morn Song, mm -hmm. like something like that, where it has a very interesting effect, and you need to build a very specific deck, mm -hmm. like a Hellbent deck, yeah. basically. So if you're playing Hellbent, that this would be really good for you. But having cards trapped in your hand that you can't play, it's really annoying. Unless you have a way of ditching cards from your hand that gets you, like, value. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously not in red, but something like Undercity Troll, where you can, like, ditch a card and get a 1-1 counter mm -hmm. and all this and that. And then maybe they have flashback. Is it Locket? So you can get value out of them from the graveyard, because they're technically not in your hand. Blue but Dev Champion's a good card. I think this is, like, $3. Really? Yeah. Guild Unless Summit. I'm mistaking it for another green-white card. Guild Summit's Okay. Sprouting Renewal is uh, really not that bad. I mean, I would possibly replace, like, if you're playing um, Naturalize. I mean, I would mm -hmm. replace this with Naturalize. Or I would play, replace Naturalize for this. Just It's just strictly better. And mm -hmm. Camaraderie. Oh, Bulk. <laughs> Bulky Bulk Bulkerson. We got two packs left. Yeah, two packs left. Uh, best thing we've pulled is Arc Light Phoenix and the Shockland. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to get something other than a Temple Garden for once. We have like a freaking playset now. It's like, dang. I mean, I'm always happy to see one because they're value, but a little diversity. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard anybody. I think there's a foil in here. Conclave Tribunal. Maybe not. I keep forgetting they have the gate in here. Mm -hmm. Pilfering Imp. Disinformation Campaign. That's a very interesting card. Enters the battlefield, draw a card, and each opponent discards a card. Whenever you surveil, return it to its owner's hand. This could be, if there was enough surveil cards to make a reasonable commander deck, this could be extremely good. 
I could be a good discard deck, especially but in like. Uh, there's not enough surveil to go around to fill a commander deck with. Right, it. especially with like um, Nekusar or something. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. and you get to draw off it too. Mm -hmm. And we got oh, Ooh. there we go, Overgrown Tomb. Okay, I don't play any Swamp Forest decks. Well, except for my Slivers, mm -hmm. I guess I can side these in Slivers, so that's a benefit. Nice to see, and we do Ooh, have a foil. foil Justice Strike. Justice. I like that. That's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Check that out. That's sword, man. That fire sword. Yeah. That's pretty Aurelia. beast. Yeah, I think that is Aurelia. Yeah. What well, says Fire Man Kavrova? Mm -hmm. Those who show no mercy to the weak deserve no mercy from the strong. Cool card. All right, last pack. We're not doing too bad. Mm -hmm. Paid 42-ish, and we pulled two $8 44, Shocklands. 44.50 with tax. And an Arclight Phoenix, which a lot of people are saying it's terrible, but... Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not as good as previous Phoenixes. Phoenix Eye. Well, it's not as good as the, the current Phoenix, which is... Uh, Sorry, album. Which, which, which one that is. I can't remember. Yeah. Dev Cutting Dissident. Vicious Rumors. Candlelight Vigil. Sonic Assault. Sonic Ass Alt. Fresh face recruit. Hold on to your ideals. They'll be tested more than your armor or the edge of your blade. Tajik. Tajik sells many wares. Blade instructor. Murmuring mystic. Spiring unicorn. I like the art on that. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I like the horn there. That's pretty neat. Thought oh. Erisher. And oh, oh nice Legion Legion War, Legion War Boss is a good pool. Yeah, this card is really great. Um, I don't know if it's gonna see modern play. Probably. I need it for my commander deck, so it works for me. <laughs> oh yeah, two and a red mentor. for a two-two Goblin Soldier with a mentor. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a one-one Red Goblin creature token. It gains haste until end of turn and attacks this combat if able. So essentially, it becomes a two-two because mm -hmm. you swing mm -hmm. this, it gets the one-one counter. It becomes two-two. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. He's looking like a. Or you can put the one-one counter a little on something, killer. something else if you want. But. Yeah, of course. Um, not overall, not bad. I'm happy with two shocks. Um, the Arclight Phoenix is cool. I don't care if it's useless. I like Phoenix cards. Yeah. <laughs> One of these days, I'll be able to create an entire Phoenix deck. It's going to be a couple years yet. I don't think there's enough. Nice. Chandra. <laughs> yeah, right. But uh, not bad. The Camaraderie sucks. The Experimental Frenzy is neat. The Hatchery Spider sucks. Firemind's Research is really awesome. Narcomoeba is good. Narcomoeba is great. And Beast Whisper is great. I really wish we would get another Pelt Collector because we only have one. And I personally think that card is amazing. I don't know what you guys think about it, yeah. but I think it's great. Anyways, guys, appreciate you keeping up with uh, all the Guilds of Ravnica content we're throwing out there. Um, I really like this set. I think it's yeah. great, especially with the Shocklands. I'm happy to have them back. I don't want to spend a bunch of money on Shocklands and pulling them from here while we get to enjoy opening the box and put something up for you guys to possibly enjoy as well while you're you know, bored or sitting on the toilet. Um <laughs> 50% of you are statistically sitting on the toilet right now. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> no, I don't know. That might be true. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> that may or may not be true. Yeah, but we appreciate it, guys. If you like the content, throw a like out there so we know um, that you guys like the content that we're putting out. And uh, we'll continue to put out said content. If there's anything specific that you guys would like to see us do, Did you want to open deck techs or more or less. Did you want to open these foil lands and show them? Uh, let us know. Do you want to open the foil lands? Show the foil lands with yeah, we'll show the foil lands before we go. Why not? Usually, I, I we have so many lands already, I just like to keep them in their packs that they come in. I think we have like five of these packs. So, we'll show them off. These will be bent immediately, uh, <laughs> as you can see. Now, they're fairly straight, but that's those look cool. All right, we got a little green action there. A little red action. Pretty neat. I like it. A little blue action. That one's cool with the spires and stuff. I like that. That's neat. Little white action. That one's okay. Who are these made by? Richard Wright. Are they all Richard Wright? Yes, they are. And the swamp. This one's also very neat. It's like a different take on the, uh, the blue one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, those are pretty awesome. Uh, I can't wait to get the guild... The guild kits. Yeah, I can get the ones with the symbols on them. If you guys were going to get a guild kit, what would you get? Obviously, 
I'm getting Demir. The fact that they printed um, uh, Glimpse the Unthinkable, and these are 1999 or 1499. 1999, I think. The fact that they printed Glimpse the Unthinkable in the Demir one as a twenty to twenty five dollar card is absolutely crazy. That's not the reason I'm going to buy it though. It just has so many good mill cards in it, and I'm a mill guy. Honestly, ab. mill was like the first thing that I like started with. Marco I love Voss, mill. Consuming Aberration, Lazav, the original Lazav. Yeah, Lazav, Lazav's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, guys, like I said, throw out a like. If there's anything you'd like to see us do, please let us know. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We try and keep content going to interest you guys. Uh, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. And we'll see you guys next time right here on Everything FTG. Take it easy.